all right so what exactly is a quick throttle well anything which turns your angle the accelerating angle down is called a quick throttle well what do you mean by accelerating angle just a sec this is the stock grip of ktm our duke or rc390 well if this is the stock position of the grip in normal resting position this angle is called like if it moves till this this angle is called the rotation angle but in stock ktms this angle is a lot like you have to go all the way like this on full throttle which is kind of bad and kind of cumbersome and uh, yeah like a guy for me i find it easy to go on brakes if the angle is short like this if the angle is like this it is easier to go on grips and uh, brakes the question is how can you lower the angle well this is the grip of stock 390 and uh, this is the grip of 200 notice any difference well if you notice carefully the diameter in the duke 200 grip is more and the diameter in the duke 390 grip is small what do you mean by diameter well your accelerator cable goes here it locks up here and it is moved around the thread and from here it is left on the rest of the cable which you actually see which comes out of the cluster so what happens if i increase the diameter well now what happens is if the diameter is longer the radius is bigger and which means the circumference is also larger which means the cable actually has to travel more distance here which gradually decreases the angle of it because accelerator cable length is limited you are not going to change accelerator cable length and resultantly the angle is lowered well this is one of the ways in which you can do actually the mod well this is the most jugadu mod and you can get ktm grips your grips won't even change from the outside no one will know another thing well like uh, a few guys in mumbai and bangalore do they actually make certain pvc pvc material thing uh, which stays up on this thing and increases the diameter further which will also give you the same effect but uh, i'm not sure if it is made for ktm specific or any other specific but there are a few guys who make it but this is what i went for this is actually a universal quick throttle well this can be installed in any bike it does not uh, care about what the make and model of your bike is and <laughs> it's just fun so yeah i'll tell you the steps of how to do this but before that let me tell you about the pros and cons of installing this well the pros you can already see uh it's really easy to get on the gas you don't have to go all the way down like i showed you before and uh yeah that's the first thing and the second thing is uh man this traffic and the second thing is it's easier to get on the brakes like uh at least these two are my personal reason why i install this easy to get on gas like this and easy to get on brakes like this because i'm not really rotating my hand much so yeah it's from this to this it's easier to get like this uh, yeah i know i use i'm using this more but uh, <laughs> and about the cons well uh, even a slightest of jerk will give you <laughs> a really big punch out of this so you actually have to ask yourself whether you want it or not because like most of the tourists out there they like a smooth throttle not a jerky one like this also if you do not have a smooth throttle hand you are going to have a lot of problems when you are entering a corner or uh, you know riding on wet surface etc etc there is a reason why uh, ktm gave that small throttle cam well from the cam i mean the place where the accelerator cable is attached and uh, yeah 
they gave it for the reason because you know a lot of squids and people who don't really care about the machines and people on the streets they want to go full manic on this and that was ktm's way of actually reducing the power delivery like the manic power delivery and uh, yeah but for that thing you really need to get some things done on the bike like if you are on a non ho bike well you are going to have a bit of problems like uh, you see this quick throttle cam placement thing cover that takes up some space and uh, you have to cut through your stock instrument cluster to get it installed and uh, well i guess i should talk to you about uh, that when i get home this traffic is killing me a few moments later bunk it so if this thing is going to take up some space you have to cut through your uh, stock cluster which is not the most prettiest thing to do so you have to find a way on your own um, i can't really help you with that or you have to install a separate switch uh, for like that handlebar thingy or something you know how the switches work so for the headlights you have to install them and then you can install these and if you have a ho bike then you are all balle balle i'll just show you in well for the non ho ones for the older bikes i can't really say much but for the newer ones the all time headlight ones this is what you need well come on focus kar you need a grip to put on the quick throttle you need the quick throttle itself and you need a ignition switch wait a minute this fucktard is not focusing yep so i went for the honda navi one because obviously i am not a big fan of uh, the kill switch i don't use that much i use the pass switch a lot but i don't really use the kill switch and uh, it really saves you from those kamina friends who <laughs> try to kill switch you when you are on a ride also so yeah you need a honda navi switch you need to connect that in normal way just the kill switch one make it direct if you don't want it or if you want a kill switch one i'll still put a link down in the description box below you can get that and uh, yeah that will solve your problem and uh, of the quick throttle one thing you really really need to do well first thing uh, the quick throttle also comes with a cable this being a universal throttle this does not come with a cable this is just the same this quick throttle's function is the same as of the previous ones like it's making the cam bigger this one this cam so that the angle is lower you can see just this much and done that's it and due to that it does not come with a throttle cable and because of that you have to put your stock throttle cable in But the thing is that the stock throttle cable is designed for the KTM clusters only. So what happens is, uh, whenever you leave your throttle like from full, it gets stuck around here. So for this last a few bits, you have to push around, and that can be a bit disastrous if uh, if you are riding too fast. So what you have to do here is you have to push these things a little apart. Well. you have to keep on experimenting and uh, see where is the point where it goes on smoothly back and one more thing you can't use the accelerator cable adjuster this one this thing anymore you just have to tighten this nut and it's over it's from the way i say it it's even simpler so yeah it's done and uh, and yeah then you put your grips on these grips well i know these are mx grips but uh, the stock ktm grips i didn't like them much on these ones plus these are a bit soft also so it's up to you the grip choice is up to you i'm still leaving a link in the description below and uh, yeah let me know if you need something more some more info and 
this is it. I'm still going to put some of the clips of the installation process, but uh, this is more or less like this. I mean, it's more or less like this. So, yeah, if you want to know anything more, just uh, hit me up in the comment section below or you can just uh, hit me up on the social media handles also. So, bye.